Hey guys, Titano here. Today we have an unboxing from the cubicle. We've got the Volk 2, the um, there we go, there's this card, MGC 2x2, and Little Magic 2x2. So let's start with the Little Magic 2x2. Alright, so Little Magic 2x2. That looks nice little cardboard box. And cool little box. Let's open this thing up. Alright. First thing in here is instructions. Don't really need those, but they're always nice to have if you're a beginner. And then box and instructions. So here is the MGC two. Oh my god, MGC two I do. Sorry, I meant to say little magic two by two. I'm so confused. I like some color on the side. It feels kind of sandy, but first turns. Wow, that is really, really good. Oh my god. That's so cool. It has Yushin's logo on there. Pretty good. Kind of loose. Maybe that's good. But like, like I can do like U2s, which I can never do on my old 2x2, two two, which is Chi Chidi. Very old puzzle. Not the best either, but a fun puzzle. Now I'm gonna get a new main. And oh, whoops, just dropped a receipt. Oops. Anyway, but the main reason I got all these two by twos is because I'm going to a competition very soon, and I definitely need a new two by two. And that's my favorite event, main event. Wow. This is like a really, really good two by two. I don't know which one of these is gonna be my main, but there'll be a review on every single one of these in the future. I guess I'll do a quick solve then. Scramble this up. Randomly. Hand scramble it. That looks about good. So some inspection time. And then three, two, one, go. That was a pretty fun puzzle. Wow. Yeah. To me it feels kind of, like, I like the feel, like, is there like a little pattern in there? Yeah, there's like, line, there's like grooves in there. Primary plastic, shades are pretty nice, but there's like, like stuff on the stickers, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Overall, I think this puzzle might actually be my main, like, the tensions are good, it just feels, I mean, it's really controllable-ish. To me, it, this feels like a controllable 2 by 2 Pretty cool. On to right, the next one. Next, we've got the MGC 2x2. Two two. So here's the box. It's made by, yeah, YJ. Which is pretty sure is also MoYu. How do you open this? You have to like push this down? I think I got it. Oh, wait, come on. Is this how you open that? I'm not sure. How do you open this thing? I am struggling. Ugh. box in really good packaging as well just kind of hard to get into so next what's the next part we pull this up it's like a piece of styrofoam box there's the mgc 2x2 let's get it out what is this so you got some extra magnets and some springs and stuff i don't really know how to use that stuff so i probably won't instructions and the cube. And that's it. Oh man, this puzzle looks real, really good. If I could just get into it. Alright, there it is. Now, I've seen um, JPerm. If you don't know who he is, he makes really good cubing tutorials. Wow, this actually like, this turns really good. I can feel the magnets, and it's pretty smooth. Actually, like it. Jperm uses this in his 2x2 two two tutorials, and that's pretty cool. And his older ones, like CLL and maybe EG, I don't know. I definitely used it in the CLL tutorial, which I'm in the process of learning. Like, 
Here's one of them. This is when you have two here and one there, and they just go whoop. Soft. Pretty quick one. Anyway, this thing have grooves in here? Does not. But I like the magnets. Makes it a really controllable puzzle. Shades are really nice. And I can I can feel this like like it feels like a good puzzle. But it feels a little bit blocky to me. And kind of loud as well. Yeah. I think the little magic was a little bit better than this, but this one might because of the magnets. Magnets are pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll do a quick solve on here. Compare it to the other one. If I can scramble it. That looks about good. Alright. Three, two, one. There we go. So, MGC 2x2 two two does feel pretty good. Yeah, it's actually, I can't stop turning. This thing is, the magnets make it actually a kind of a good feeling to turn. Shades are all really nice too. And I don't think I really have much more to say about this. That I'm definitely going to make a review on this one as Lastly, well. Lastly, we've got Volk. Two. It says it on here. Volk 2M. This is actually the magnetic version. So let's get into this. If I can find a way to open this, because I don't have scissors. Yeah, give me All a sec. Right. So I got scissors and put a little cut in it, so now I can open it. Piece of plastic. Who's that? Alright, there we go. Well, 2M. There. Oh wow, those corners of the factory are kind of damaged. Oh, that is such a nice box. It's like metallic and shiny. Well, tools on the back. Shows bulk twos. And let's open this thing. Really nice packaging. Really nice. Next thing is. What's this thing on the side? Ah, there we go. That is such a nice case. Wow. Little box. Let's see what's in there in a second, and nothing else. So what is in this box? Is it a bunch of those chi cards. Oh, I think it is. Yep. <laughs> and a little cleaning sheet. Oh wait, this has more. This has instructions. Is this advanced instructions? No. Just good old instructions. Oh wait, what? <laughs> Wait, they have two sides. All right, wait, we'll do this side first. Okay, so Volk 2M, Volk 2M. There's Matt's Volk with his 4.74 world record. There's Matt's Volk again. There's Matt's Volk again. There's Matt's Volk again. Then on the other side, tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. What does it say? Hey, Cuber, Matt's Volk here. Thanks for acquiring. Yeah, you guys can read that. That's pretty cool. Next, Vault 2, and then Vault 2 again. So these are cool cards. They're just fun, I guess, to have. So you have a Vault 2. Anyway. Cool sheet over there. All right. Next, open this thing up. Got extra springs, I think. And then, nice. This is like hard plastic. It's pretty cool. These two? Yep. It's like some really, that's like high quality right there. I got the bulk logo on there. Let's get right into this. Come on. This thing is not going to open. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Open up. Open both sides to get the cube out. How tight is it in here? There we go. Alright. Get out of there. Alright. The Volk. Nice logo there. And then it's got pretty good shades. Who's kind of dark though? Primary plastic internals. You can see that. 
Nice and lubed. Let's get into first turns. Mm, kind of tight for my, my style of turning. Oh, slip there. Guess I will solve it. It's actually, I don't know why, but I think the other ones are better. Why do I not really like this? I don't know why. It's just kind of, not really blocky, it's kind of gummy, which is not my type of feel. Yeah, so it's kind of blocky. Checkerboard on there. Um, it's got little holes in there. It's, yeah, it's kind of tight for me. But it's pretty controllable. Like, like I can do U2s pretty quick. Maybe with one. Nah. But I like how it's controllable, and even pushing it really hard only does one turn. So it's just like, almost, just like one and a half. So if I scramble this, let's see how nice it would be. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, go. There we go. I felt it to be pretty controllable. Yeah, but there'll be reviews on all these coming really soon, so look out for those. Yeah, so I'll review all three of these puzzles pretty soon, so. All right, so these are all three of the puzzles. Why don't we all compare them? So, oh, what is that? Oh, for a second, I thought that was a sticker. It's just a piece of plastic. Anyway, the shades are about the same. This one's kind of weird though oh those stickers whoa what is that oh that's i don't know what that is anyway red um especially this side this, this side's all scratched up but i think that one turns the best red green so if i could recommend which one of these to buy give me one more time to feel so, pretty sure this one is the M, not the MVC, this is the Little Magic. I don't know why, but this one turns the fastest, and I really like it. Oh, darn, I messed it up. So this one, it's a little uncontrollable, but turns pretty fast. This is the MGC. This one is fast and controllable, because it has lighter magnets. And then the Volk has stronger magnets, and the lube feels... It feels kind of gummy, which I don't really like, and it's kind of heavy. These two are not as heavy. So if I could recommend, I think I'm going to have to go with this one. This is my first favorite, this is my second, and this is my third favorite. So these are all pretty good 2x2s, two and I'm really excited for my competition coming up. There will be mains and goals video coming up very soon. Goodbye.